Dear Mr. Stefan Eberlin, uh, thank you for joining us on the fourth AJB doc for this virtual talk. We have just seen your film, El Master Case. It's a great documentary about a very sensitive topic, so welcome. In 2004, uh, Khaled El Masri was illegally abducted by the CIA and taken to a secret prison near Kabul. His case brought the CIA's worldwide so-called rendition program to light. You tell this political thriller for the first time. Why now? And do you have a previous connection with the main character, Mr. Khaled El Masri? Um, okay, first question, why now? Um, it's very easy because um, Arte took the took the uh, the film project for for um, uh, this spe special date of 9/11. Uh, um, they used their history history part of of their um, channel, and this is why the film is released now. So um, the story. Um, 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 my story with Khaled El Masri began already earlier in 2007. I got in touch with him because um, he destroyed a supermarket in, um, in, in the place where he lived. This town is called Neu Ulm and this was very strange. He was abducted in 2004 and um, his case was very well known and um, all the media uh, did report about it. Um, but then um, he, 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 he set fire um, in this supermarket and this was very, very strange. And this was the point where I, as a documentary filmmaker, um, got aware of it because I had feeling something is wrong with this man. He, seems, he seemed to be very lonely. So I got in touch with his lawyer and finally in touch with uh, Khaled El Masri and tried to make this film already um, at that time. And two years later, I got money from from the from a German broadcaster. But then um, uh, Khaled El Masri um, he bet up um, the mayor of Neu Ulm, and he went to prison for five years because he was paranoid that um, the Secret Service uh, will be or is behind him. And this is this was because nobody helped him during that time until now. Now uh, nobody helped him. And then he disappeared, and in 2016, I found this CIA report um, on the internet about the uh, kidnapping of, Ka of Khaled El Masri. It's a CIA um, documentation uh, 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 report, and um, um, there were these uh, very important senses, uh, uh, sentences. Um, the rendition was unjustified. And uh, since then, I was very sure that they just were behind the wrong man because this was, uh, this was under question all the time. All the time, the public in Germany, all the people thought, if the CIA is behind this man, if, this, if, if the CIA um, kidnapped this man, he must be somehow in touch um, with terrorists, but he never was. And this was the fine. This report of the CIA was a final proof. Yeah. And How this hard, is what I yeah. Before. How hard for is, was for you to open Mr. El Masri to talk about this entire experience? And uh, did, uh, and also I have one question, but I know it's a long shot. Uh, have you tried to get the CIA for the comment? Um, okay. First question about uh, Khaled El Masri. Um, you know, I, I, I um, 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 approached him very slowly through his lawyer and finally through his lawyer, it was no problem to talk to him. It was very open and he told me his story and he's, a, he's an open person. The problem is that nobody believed his story because of the reason I told you. Uh, if, the, some, if the CIA is kidnapping someone, they have their reasons, but they didn't have in that case. So it was easy to talk to Khaled El Masri. Um, the second, what was the qu second question? I, I know it's a long shot, but have you tried uh, CIA for the comment, any comment in the film? Have you tried to reach out to them to get someone yeah. in the film? Well, I yes, mean. I tried. I, you know, I tried a little bit, so to speak. I, I tried some contacts. I didn't try very, very hard because it's a tremendously difficult. And actually, you need a lot of money you know, to, to have um, 
the, uh, um, the fundament to do this research, you know, to deal with them. It takes, it takes you a year or some, something to get in touch with them, with the right persons who would tell you something. And um, I didn't have the money to speak, frankly. I didn't have the money to do that work. So this is why, um, and I also had this very German um, or more German related um, um, connection to this case. And for me, it's much more important what the German government did or did not to Khaled El Masri or to help him because they did nothing, you know. Yeah, what is your stance today on the Ger German government? Have you uh, lost some trust? You know, what, what do you think about the, their acts in the whole case? Well, they, they never, they just never helped Khaled El Masri. Um, also, they knew about the case. Um, there are proofs that our Minister of the Interior knew about it two days after the abduction. And he didn't say anything about it for one and a half years. And um, um, only when he was um, pushed by, by, by some politicians, he finally said, yes, I know about this case. He didn't want to, um, to offend um, his American friends. This was his motivation to, to not talk about it. Um, and that means the, that the um, German-American friendship is much more worth than um, the, the, the illegal abduction that the criminal act of the Americans again uh, against a German citizen. And this is really um, a very, very bad thing for me as a German. I, I don't know if I can trust my, my, my government anymore. Yeah, I suppose so. Uh, because we have a short time limit, can you just tell me for the end uh, how this film ended up for the El Masri family and for the Khaled, how they feel? And did, did this film in any way help them or didn't help them? What do you think? Or will it help them in the future? Well, you, the film is um, re released now for a couple of days. So you <laughs> still don't know. But, but um, I'm, I'm not sure if, if this film will help. You know, this is my, my hope, of course. But I'm not, I don't know, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure about it. Um, but, you know, for, for, for me personally, it is very important that this film is there because in, in the German public, there was always these rumors that Khaled El Masri is somehow connected to, terror, to, to terrorism. And this film proves very clearly that Khaled El Masri is a victim, nothing else but, but a victim. And this is, um, you know, this is the good thing about this documentary in the, in the first, um, first place. Or, 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 and I don't know, maybe there will follow some reactions of the German government, of uh, Frank Walter Steinmeier, who is now our um, president at the moment, and he was deeply involved in, in this case. So maybe something will still happen. I don't know. We have to have trust that someone will maybe do something. But thank you for this documentary. It was really great. And it's very good to see how this political thriller, thriller you have put up with it. So thank you once again. And thank you for this talk. And we'll see each other soon in Sarajevo. OK. Yeah, thank you. Bye bye. See you soon. Bye. Bye.